Hello everyone, my name is Rachel and I'm a crofter and a knitter here on Fair Isle. I thought you might like to meet some of the animals and see what I get up to on a day-to-day -day basis. So here are my hens, we've got Partridge, Daisy and Bluebell. I'm being photobombed by Bertrude. Scampy cat, one of the cats. So these guys here, these uh, lambs and one sheep are uh, kind of my ones of this year needed a, a bit of extra looking after, a bit of extra help. Um, so this one, Bertrude, um, I had to take him away from his mum when he was about seven weeks old. Um, his twin sister was basically getting all the milk and was twice the size of him. Uh, and he wasn't doing very well at all. So uh, brought him in and fed him up and he's doing well now. This one, believe it or not, is Sage. Um, if you follow me on Instagram or Twitter, I'm Barkland Croft. Um, you may remember Sage, I'll put a picture of him in here. Well, it's hard to believe he was ever that tiny, but uh, here he is now, big boy. Then this little one here, this is Flopsy. Um, she's just recently had a, a case of um, photosensitivity. Um, basically, she reacted to something and uh, she lost all of the uh, hair on her, her face, her ears and on her back um so, yeah, thank you you've eaten it all so as you can see she's getting loads better now um we're just waiting on her her fleece growing back on her back and then last year you may remember i had a caddy called blossom um who lost the use of her front legs and uh, so she had some splints made i'll put some bits in here so you can see Oh, that's good walking. And this is Blossom now. Uh, she's very, very small. She's a uh, Texel Shetland cross, so she should be about twice the size that she is. But she's um, she's got some sort of developmental problems and she's got a bit of a wonky jaw, bless her. But she does well and I love her. So I have about 65 sheep currently and these guys running in the background, these are some of my year olds and there's sort of a handful of, of ones that are just pets as well. So we'll say hello to them. So this is little Barnacle. Fighting for the sheep nuts. This is Pork Pie. And that's Amelia. Ernest is there with the, the big horns. There's Pick a Lily. This is Miss Marple and Scampy the Cat. Here we've got Agatha and Pick a Lily. Little Barnacle, Pork Pie, Turvy, and one of the hill sheep. This is Sunshine. She was a caddy from last year. <laughs> it's Miss Marple getting in the picture. So some of these guys are pure Shetlands. Um, some like Humpty or Shetland Texel crosses. It's Pick a Lily. She's one that came from uh, Garth's Cross on Bressa uh, last year. Along with Miss Marple and Amelia and a couple of the others. So these guys are my two Shetland rams. And Scampy as always. 
This is Busby. Hey, Buzz Buzz. He's Sage's dad. Thank you. And this is Bumble. <laughs> and he gave me some beautiful coloured lambs this year. Yeah, he gave me white lamb, uh, lambs. That's fine, no? So I keep um, a selection of Texel Crosses and Pure Shetlands on my craft. This is the first year that I've actually bred some Pure Shetlands. Um, and as you can hopefully see in the background, I've got some really uh, bonny coloured ones. And the plan is that um, I'm going to start having my own wool spun from their fleeces. Uh, this is in collaboration with Uist Wool. And hopefully in spring, maybe early summer 2021, I'll have my first wool for sale. This is Ludo, one of this year's lambs. She's Butterscotch's lamb, or one of them. So here are some of my pure Shetlands. This is Teddy Bear. And one of her lambs, Guinness. <laughs> that tasty. <laughs> that tasty. Hi, Guinness. A really good rough <laughs> and then here we've got butterscotch and her lambs ludo and lancelot in the background that's wellington hi butterscotch butterscotch is my very smiley sheep she's in some of my posts doing a big Toothy grin. So I first came to Fair Isle in 2014, um, initially to work as a season at the Bird Observatory as the assistant cook. Um, uh, Croft came available in 2014, which my then partner and I applied for. And in 2015, we moved here permanently. Um, he left the following year and since then I've continued to run the craft by myself with help from characters like Wellington. As well as running the craft, I have a couple of other paid jobs. Uh, so I'm the admin assistant for Shetland Nature, which is a wildlife tour company based in Shetland. I'm also the relief cook at the primary school. Um, and when my next door neighbour Dave is away, I take the meteorological readings from the weather station. I have a couple of volunteer roles that I do. Um, one of them is I'm the organist at the chapel. And also I'm a volunteer at the museum here, the George Waterston Memorial Centre. But perhaps the most relevant job I have to Shetland Wool Week is that I knit and finish for one of the island knitwear companies, Fair Isle Made in Fair Isle. And I thought I'd give you a, a very quick tour of my workroom. Far away across the Scattered are her sons and daughters So far and wide o'er all the earth Some it's Sure. 
trompe.